Silver 3v3 YCS. It's been a fantastic weekend so far, and now it's down to the top eight best teams out of all over 500 teams that competed here this weekend. And both these teams we've seen already at the feature match stage. Yep, so on one side we have Team uh, Scott Robert Page. Yep. And then on the other side team we have TCG team Collectibles. Uh, I can't say the same part of it. It's <laughs> Falagar. I mean, it's Falagar. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the it's Spanish, TCG but TCG Collectibles teams. This two, one with yeah. Paolo. Yeah, we watched it earlier. This one of the, Latin the most American recent teams. ones. Yeah, yeah, one of the Latin American teams. Both, both of them are still in. They're yeah, both in top okay. eight. Oh, yeah. So both Latin American teams advanced, but unfortunately both the European teams lost out, right? Yep, they both lost out in top 16. Yeah. But yeah, we have just only great teams left. Uh, do you have any of the statistics? I do have some stats right here. Yeah, so out of our top cuts, so we had 48 total decks. Okay, we had 18 Sky Strikers, the most represented, 16 Salaman Grape, 10 Thunder Dragons, that includes uh, 6 Danger Thunder Dragon, 2 Chaos, and 2 Pure, 1 Danger Orcus Zombie, 1 Danger Dark Warrior, a Trickstar deck, and the Pendulum deck. Yeah, and we saw the Pendulum deck unfortunately lose in top 16. And yeah. Uh, do you know how the Trickstar deck? If their uh, team it's, it's it's advanced it's in, to this in top eight. Yes, oh. it, they're playing against the winners of last round. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, that's Knicks, right. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool to see. Hopefully, they can make it on to uh, top four, and maybe we'll get to see Trickstars next. But it's yeah, cool yeah. to see like yeah, a couple other decks sneaking in yeah. there. But Sky Striker definitely dominating this event. Well, it's pretty close to Salamander. There's only a two deck difference. Yeah, but uh, do you have the numbers for how many Salamander entered versus how many uh, Sky Striker players? That's where it shifts. <laughs> yeah, well, huge. Shift. Yeah, so there is. And these are rough percentages because there's also other types decks, and the, obviously it goes down to a very far decimal point. But about mm -hmm. a quarter of the field was well, sound man great. Yeah, that, that's a huge like portion. That, that means like a considerable number of people decided that was the best deck to play this yeah, weekend. Yeah, and then a little more than half of that number was striker. And, so uh, and right, right around 14-ish percent. Okay, so with half the amount of many players using the deck, more we see more percentage in the top cut. Yes, yeah, so you have to also factor in that a lot of the players, that we talk about Salamangre, it's a great budget option, right? It's mm -hmm. a very low entry point, you three structure decks, and you can right. supplement with some other cards. So you know a lot of players, you know, this is their first YCS, oh, they have a competitive deck, they might bring it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But not not to count them out or anything, but yeah. But there's just a lot more there that might not there's be also as competitive. An additional, right, there's also an additional variance in that not everyone needed a winning record to get into the top cut, right? We, right. Had, we had a couple of right. yesterday who had like maybe two wins, but their team was able to carry on. I'm sure a lot right. of the Salomon Greats took out, you know, the other Salomon Greats, because yeah. there's so many of them playing so many too. mirrors every round. Yeah. yeah. But it seems like the Sky Striker duels here are, they're here to take it this week. Yeah, they so know I'm what they're doing. Yeah. They, they've been practicing with their decks. The, most of them are all prepared for the mirror. We see, you know, three copies of Shared Ride in almost every single Sky Striker side deck. Yeah. Uh, obviously being the best uh, card in the mirror match. But I think the players are ready, so top eight's about to begin. All right, here we go. We got Team Scott Robertson Page up here against the Team TCG Collectibles 2. I'm just going to call them Team TCG Collectibles 2 for a better lack of not being able to uh, pronounce it. Yeah, I just don't but know how Even when he L's. spoke it to me, I just still couldn't follow it. <laughs> Are they, were they like wise? Was it like... He just says it so fast. Fire. Fire. It's just fire. Fire. I don't know. That literally, you said it that fast. You know, it's so, so fast. It's, it's hard, hard yeah. I tried. I, I hadn't told it to me like two or three times. And it's okay. It's all right, though. But we do have the match. Whatever their name is, they're awesome. The so match. We're, yeah, the, the match we're going to go on is to Hani Jari and uh, is it Michael Luis? Michael, maybe Michelle? M Michelle Luis? Yeah. yeah. It's hard to read but, yeah, but it's a uh, Danger Thunder Dragon deck, the one that plays the Arc Brave Amorph Age combo against a uh, Sky, Sky Striker deck. And it yep. looks like the Sky Striker duels. Uh, Michelle, yeah, Luis is going first with a Rota and an Upstar Goblin. Yep. It's great to put two spells just into your grave immediately that aren't Sky Striker spells, so you'll be able to turn your additional effects for your Sky Striker spells online immediately. Yep. You see he has multi-roll and ray, so he'll be able to do and area zero. So area zero target ray. Yep, respond with ray. Yep. Quick effect to link summon. At Hayate, and Air Zero is going to excavate top three. We see Blue's Barrel good, Shark Cannon, and he's going, yeah, Shark Cannon's the late target. Yep, Effect Veiler was the last card, but not, not a hit. A, yep, not a Sky Striker spell. Seth's one. 
It doesn't oh. look like he was able to get to an engage. Uh, uh, Hayate you had needed to, to attack to like dump the engage, so going first, yeah. you don't have as many resources as you do going second sometimes. It's kind of interesting. It didn't used to be that way, but Hayate making it. Yep. Scotch are having an extra option going second. Yep. During the end phase, he's just going to activate Shizuku. Search. Yeah, not not the strongest opening turn that we've seen from a Sky Striker deck. Yeah, no, he does have an Ash Blossom in terms of protection in addition to the Shark Cannon. So mm -hmm. two forms of disruption. Hopefully but that'll be enough. Yeah, we'll see if that's enough. On his hand, two copies of Danger Nessie, a Black Dragon, Black Dragon, Dragon Collapse Serpent, a Phantom Sky Blaster, and Danger Mothman. And then he'll find a sixth card here, which a looks like a third, third Danger Nessie. Nessie. Yeah, that is. You don't, you don't want to. Well, Nessie's, I guess, an okay one to draw multiples of, because even if you discard it, you still get to search your deck, right? But you most mainly you, don't want to draw. Yeah, you don't want multiple dangers of the same one. Of the same type, yeah. Because it's like for sure gonna get discarded, but it looks like oh he hit the Mothman out of with all Mothman's six. effect, yeah. yeah. So it's just gonna get discarded there, and this yep. uses effect. Both players get its effect, so to draw. draw and discard. It looks discard. like there was an engage on top of Mitchell's deck. It's gonna be huge for the next turn. Yeah, Sekka's light for uh, Guari. It's not that bad. Oh yeah, he's 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 a lot of cards here. We're gonna be able to see what is how well he can play this Danger Thunder deck and what kind of board he can... Yep. It looks like the Nessie's going to get Ash Blossomed. Oh, now it's Sekka's Light. He's yeah. probably going to regret using that Ash now. Oh, Battery Man Solar. And another Sekka's Light. That's a little rough. You can always Sekka's Light back to Sekka's Light, but I don't know if you can do the same turn that it's sent to the graveyard. So it looks like we have a. Oh, you can, yeah, you can yeah. use the same. Sure. This whole time I thought Sekka's Light had a uh, like a once per turn clause. A lot of those cards that have effects when they go to the graveyard do. Mm -hmm. and we saw Nessie here activating and hitting Nessie, so he's activating another Nessie. Yeah. The, the only issue is that you can't uh, use, you can only use each effect once. Uh, yeah, so okay. that's why you can't activate another. So he hit like the he Black Dragon. So Nessie's going to come to the field and he gets to draw a card when special summon. Yep. Another copy of Battery Man Solar. That's rough. He's just drawn into a lot of normal summons now. He has double solar and a Sky Blaster and a Sekka's Light. So he, he only has... And he's used the Nessie's effect, the discard effect already. Yep. He basically had to throw one of the Nessies away because he yeah. used the first one, then he hit the second one, that, and he just can't use it because he already triggered his effect once. Yep. So he's going to draw one more card off, off the, the Sekka's Light. Light. This time he finds a Wyber Burster. That's a good card. I think Mitchell's trying to say that he didn't get a chance to shuffle the deck, but. Oh, he's. You think he didn't cut after the shuffling the second light? No, he. I think he's saying that he drew not the top card of the deck. Hmm. But. Uh, it looked like he did. Yeah, I mean, it I, definitely I, looked like he did, but you, I don't know. You, you, I mean, it was I fast, obviously. Yeah. But like, it's also not a crazy card to draw. Like he just drew a Wyver Burster. Yeah. Like it's a it's a playable card, but there's probably better cards he could have drawn. Definitely. Any Thunder Dragon card? <laughs> yeah, especially with how many bad cards he's drawn so far, dude. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone. Maybe. Just and welcome back to the final top four match and the final feature match, really, of the World Qualifying Points Playoff for North America. So we saw last round, Jesse Cotton from Canada punched his ticket. He's now going to Berlin, Germany, third year in a row attending the World Championship. I would say he, he might you end up being Galileo. You think he likes playing in the World Championship? I think he does, I think probably. He I think it. he's just back with a vengeance every year. Mm. He just hasn't made it as far as he wants to, and maybe this is his year. Um, but yeah, so on the other side of the bracket, we have Zach Stone, Zachary Stone, and uh, Gabriel Vargas. So Gabriel Vargas, the uh, current WCQ, uh, reigning WCQ winner for North America, and uh, YCS Niagara winner from this season, also Canadian, also went to Worlds last, last year. year. So he could be returning versus uh, Zachary Stone, sort of someone else who's been competing all season long in the World's Points Playoff. Not a slouch, but maybe not as uh, gilded as Vargas is, but that doesn't mean that he can't win it out here. So I'm excited to see. We have a Sky Striker versus uh, Danger Thunder Dragon matchup. We saw the Danger Thunder Dragon deck before. And Sky Striker on the other side, we saw a Sky Striker mirror. So we are pretty familiar with both decks. But let's not keep you waiting. It's time to duel. 